Okay, so the very last piece that I need for the redwood violin is a little bit of twine to tie off the end of the tail gut on the tailpiece. And um, I found somebody in the area who knows how to make twine out of dogbane. So I've come to the edge of Sebastopol to meet Patricia Yeleggio, who's been doing this for a number of years. What's that twig that you're holding? That's the dog bane. That's dog bane. Yep. And where did you get it from? From Laguna de Santa Rosa Gardens, where they uh -huh. grow the native California plants and they tend everything. Uh -huh. I understand that um, local Indians would use this? I've been exposed to it with the basket weaving. Uh -huh. um, but cordage, they would use it to make cordage. Okay, uh -huh. so what they would use cordage for would be things like making um, fishing nets uh -huh. for um, anything. So part of the baskets to to create the rope uh -huh. for a basket, right, right. something like that. Uh -huh. Are you going to get fiber out of this right now? Yes, I am. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought it was going to be some very long, complicated process. No. I okay, so what are you going to do first? Well, we have this. It's got a. It's got a, 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 um, a hollow inside. Uh huh. And there's pits in there. Okay. That's what we're going to take out. So if I put it down and I give it a smack, all up and down here, and it has to be dried. Okay. See. You harvest it and you wait and you dry it. What naturally does is it kind of goes into four um, uh -huh. sections. Uh huh generally speaking. Uh -huh. So I'm going to separate two of them. I'll work. Separate one more. I don't like that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, one more. It's got one. So, okay. So, to get to the pith. Get to the heart of the matter. Just little, 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 little sections. Uh -huh. Okay. And then you're going to just take the little sections off. Oops, they just come right off. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, you can actually put your thumb under and go that way. So this is the very last piece of material that I need for this fiddle. <laughs> and I'm so grateful that you were able to just, like, do it right after I asked you. Because, uh, uh, <laughs> I think the uh, timing's know, wonderful. We want those fibers, but on the other side, we need to get rid of what? Yeah, we're going to get rid of the bark. Okay. 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 So the way to do this is you start the traditional way was to and roll. So you're, it works really well with denim. See, it's all uh -huh. kind of starting to pop off. Okay. Also, just do it between your palms. So, how did you get into this? Um, I was down in Fillmore, which is down Southern California, uh -huh. and um, was doing some um, ceremony with people. And there was one weekend where before or after, maybe an after. Uh -huh. um, a couple of us sat around the river there, and there was one, I don't remember the fellow's name, but there was one fellow there. Um, I don't know if colors <laughs> important. There's one white fellow, and I think three or four red fellows, and uh -huh. one white woman. <laughs> uh -huh. And we just sat on the log, and he showed us how to do this. Um, uh -huh. And I don't, you know, so... Um, oh, I started doing it, and it's, um, I worked it into different kinds of basket weaving that I was doing. Uh -huh. When it's in session, I've been an instructor, an ELP, Environmental Living Program Instructor, out at Fort Ross. Okay. Where they have the kids come out and they do this whole role play overnight, and there's, there's, oh, a, yeah? there's a group there that, um, 
I teach how to work with the cordage. Uh huh. So that's that's another. But since that has not been in play, I have all of this dog bane in, I see. My, in my apartment. And um, I just go out in the backyard and just sit here and do this. And uh -huh. It's just wonderful. Wow. So now you're going to show me how you twist? Correct. Okay. Okay. So one side I'm going to twist uh -huh. and twist it so tight that it forms. It automatically goes and boop and makes a little loop. Uh -huh. I'm going to grab that loop. Starting space. Okay, so now I have these two lines. Uh -huh. The top one, I'm going to twist, twist tight. I'm going to grab the bottom. Okay. So it's top to bottom. Uh huh. And do it again. Twist away. Is that the same one? Uh huh. Okay. No, no, no. This is the second one. The second one. one. Okay. This is the bottom became the top. Okay. Now the top is becoming the bottom. Okay. Okay. And twist away. I need spit. Wait. <laughs> twist away. So just one turn. Mm-hmm. And then and then twist. Twist and then flip it down to the bottom. Right. See. Twist. The top becomes the bottom. Oh, okay. Twist. Top becomes the bottom. Ah. And you end up with your little twining. That little hole you started with. Uh huh. Twist away and twist back and twist away and twist uh -huh. back. Um, this, what does this take me? Probably about an hour. I don't know. Uh huh. I didn't count that. Ah, I didn't realize it was sort of done um, sort of millimeter by millimeter like that. Ta da! Great! Fantastic! <laughs> Very cool. Well, this has been great. Thank, thanks so much for showing me how to make twine out of twigs. Cool. And uh, thanks for being part of the Redwood Violin. My pleasure.